Justin Rojas and I'm back again with another tutorial with Onshape. Um, this time I wanted to cover a couple different things you could do real quick. So with this CAD program, you last time what we did is we I showed you real quick how you could throw together a simple design. You know, it's something that we threw here that's nothing great, but um, how you can make your own bracket. I mean, obviously, these holes are not uh, measured or anything like that, but um, you could easily do something yourself, or you can easily import uh, a CAD file from somewhere else and be able to use those files uh, to maybe make it look a little prettier in order to build something that you want to build. So as you can see here, I took uh, a CAD file and here just imported it. You have everything that's already measured properly and where it belongs. So all these holes are measured and spaced as they should be for this 90 degree gusset uh, from Andy Mark. Now, for those of you who have taken robotics, this is something that we've used quite often. So, give you an idea. Uh, over here in Andy Mark, you know, here's the 90 degree gusset. And right down here is where the CAD file is. And you can easily just download this file and import this over into here which is what I'm going to show you today. Alternatively, what you can do is you can open up this PDF file, which I have open already, and it will give you the, the dimensions for all the sides and even for the holes and everything where they belong. And keep in mind that these are measured in millimeters. So if you were working in inches on your own, uh, when you're making things, uh, when you get to the CAD files, you'll want to come down and check and make sure because majority of the time they're probably going to be in millimeters. So if you want to model it yourself, then open up the PDF file and you will be greeted with something that's very similar to this here. And this shows all the dimensions for everything. So you can see how wide the I guess we can call it the width or the length. How long this uh, section is here from zero to three millimeters, zero to three millimeters. And then within there, this circle is at two and a half millimeters, you know, those kinds of things. And how big the circles are, those kinds of things. Um, how big uh, this rounded edge needs to be. Same thing here, you know, all these rounded edges. Uh, one of the things that they have in here is they want. Uh, oh, they want to make sure that there are no sharp edges. Uh, that is a big thing with uh, the robotics, first robotics. They don't want any sharp edges. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to take this 45 tooth uh, hex bore steel gear and take this CAD file and import it over into Onshape. So obviously the first step is to download it. There we go. So for me, I'm on a Mac, so I'm using Safari. It goes up in here into my downloads. So I'm going to come back over to Onshape and come over here to Create, and I'm going to either click on Import Files. Suppose I could do Import From, but I don't have any connected services. So I'm going to go to Import Files into my Downloads folder, but what I didn't do is I didn't look at what the name of the file is, right? So I'm going to double check real fast here. This is my first one that I did. The other one is AM-0179. So that's what I want to look for. So I'm going to go back to create, open file or import files, and I want to look for that download if I can find it. I had a minute. I had a hard time trying to find the last one too for some reason. 
I don't know if I have this set up in just alphabetical or in order of date. Here we go. So this should be it. Uh, to Florida put gear, yep, step file. So I'm going to choose that one. Now you can orientate, orient this one um, with the Y axis up. Um, I'm not going to do that for this one, but uh, if you look under the question mark here, uh, some programs like SolidWorks and Inventor, uh, they use Y axis up. Uh, create a composite part when importing multiple or non solid bodies. Uh, parts with single part studio will become a composite part upon import. Um, I checked that last time. Go ahead and do that. Um, then you have these three options up here. Import to a single document. Split into multiple documents. Preserves data structures with links. Combine to a single part studio. Use with small assemblies. So what I'm doing here, it's obviously just one item that I'm importing. I'm just going to import it into a single document. I'm click OK. You can you were able to see it coming in, uh, importing. I'm just going to go ahead and mark all those as red. And then I'm going to open that file. Make that go away. And here we go. We have our gear. So I am going to hide those panels so you can get a better look at this gear here. And now I have this gear, right? Everything that I need, all measured out, all modeled for me from Andy Mark. I don't have to do it myself. So if you want to quickly build uh, you know, an inventory of all the different items from Andy Mark, for instance, I'll come back to here. You can come into here. Um, let's look at brackets. You want to quickly come in and grab a bunch of these items in here because obviously it's going to take you uh, quite a while to model all of these yourself. I mean, I'm not going to myself either. I, one, don't have the time. Two, I just don't want to. And so I don't blame you either. If they're going to provide you with CAD files, take the CAD files. As you see here, this one has a CAD file also. Not everything does. Remember that. So not everything in AndyMark has a CAD file. But you'll want to make sure that whatever you want to use does have a CAD file. So anything that you want to uh, check out, um, take a look at it, see if it has a CAD file, download the CAD file and bring it over into Onshape and you can start building up your library here. And then in time what you'll want to do is you can create a, a file where you can start putting these together. And that's what we're going to get into in time. Uh, hopefully the next video that I do I'm going to have several more files in here. I did have a couple more. I deleted those because I was practicing for this. But uh, I'm going to import a few more things. And then what I'm going to do is do a video on how to attach uh, different objects together. So for instance, I'll take this gusset here. And I will um, maybe even get some bolts or something. Uh, put them in there. And then also maybe uh, a bracket or two, uh, attach it to a bracket um, and merge them all together. So that way you can see how something will come together and be uh, working towards a, uh, a finished product. Something that you can do and be able to create yourself. Uh, working towards the end goal of having either a complete robot or a complete idea of a portion of that robot, whatever it may be that you want to build, you know, those kinds of things. Um, I still highly encourage you to go through and, and practice using all of these tools up here um, when you are using Onshape so you can learn all the different things that this can do. Um, granted, this isn't something that is going to be the industry standard if you go into uh, a job that you know, where you're working with CAD. However, this is going to help you along the way 
and give you what you need as far as the tools and the skills to be able to jump into some of the bigger programs that are much more in depth. So I hope this helps you out and can get you on your way. Start playing with these, import some stuff, uh, create your own, um, follow the drawings and try to see if you can mimic some of these drawings and make them uh, yourself and see how well they turn out and look like the real thing, you know, like the original CAD file. And that way you can start working on those yourself. And that's just going to help you out in the long run. And hopefully come uh, next school year, we'll be able to have uh, several of you building stuff uh, for us uh, in order to model and, and show off um, for FIRST Robotics and be able to teach and mentor some of the younger um, ro robotics clubs out there. So hope this has helped. Um, I will hopefully be able to do another video sooner. Um, I want to try and do them more than just once a week, but uh, it, it, it's up to my schedule. So um, I'll do what I can. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Thank you.